Thousands of tourists flock to Cologne's famous Roman Catholic cathedral. Now Muslims hope that a planned mosque in the city will also become a European landmark. But the proposal by the large Turkish community in Cologne has sparked a huge row about multiculturalism versus integration. And the strength of opposition to the mosque has taken Muslims by surprise. I was surprised. I didn't expect it at all. I don't believe it was the majority of people, but it was very loud. The largest political party in Cologne, the Christian Democrats, say they fear a Turkish ghetto if the project is not scaled back and assurance is given about activities there. We want integration which won't happen if the project goes ahead and creates a separate world. For instance, we want Muslim boys and girls to be taught lessons together and assurances that the rights of women will be strengthened. Driven by the suspicion between communities, extreme right-wing groups have tried to exploit the tension. What both sides in this argument here acknowledge is that it might never have taken place before the events of September the 11th in New York and the ensuing world conflicts. Since then, disputes like this have surfaced in cities across Europe, even in traditionally tolerant places like Cologne. Mainstream politicians believe a compromise will eventually be found and a poll for the city's newspaper revealed a majority for the mosque. On the German side, the mistake was they did not take interest in the Turkish groups in the community. The positive result of this is that they have now found out more. The Turkish side made the mistake of not participating in city life, so they were surprised by objections. In this city, it looks like tolerance will finally triumph over fear and extremism. Tim Friend, Al Jazeera, Cologne.